It is said that wars are only won upon the anvil of honor. Others believe victory requires strategy and a mastery of power. War is deception. A game played best from the shadows. Only strength and raw power can assure total dominance. But of course, you could forget all that. And just have fun! Hearthstone! Heroes of Warcraft! What is up, and welcome back, everybody, to a new series on my channel. This is Redburn here with you once again, and we're playing some Hearthstone. This is a, a card game that was kind of inspired by World of Warcraft. It's a Blizzard game, of course. It uh, uses a lot of like uh, all the characters from WoW and stuff like that. Um, I used to play World of Warcraft not that much, but a little bit. I didn't start playing until um, uh, just right when Cataclysm, Cataclysm? Cataclysm came out. Uh, my wife, Cat Dom, and I just started... Well, I think she started playing uh, WoW, and then I'm like, oh, that game doesn't look too bad, so I guess I'd try it. And we started playing. We played for quite a while. Um, I recently got out of it um, just before the most recent expansion, uh, the Warlords of Draenor. And then uh, I got back into it for like a month, and then I got back out again. But the new expansion's coming out soon. Um, which one's that called? Uh, the Legion uh, expansion is coming out soon, so I might get back into it. I don't know, but uh, as some of you may know, I do I, I do follow Generic B, uh, really popular YouTuber uh, through YouTube, and as he started playing this game, and I always was interested in seeing what this game was like, so I figured uh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> now I'm just like hooked into the game. I've only played it for like a couple days now, so I don't have a lot of experience. But I want to put some videos up here. We're going to start with, uh, I'm just going to put an arena video for you guys to see. Um, you could play online against other people, random people. You could play against the AI, the computer, build a deck, customize your deck, and all that fun stuff. It's pretty uh, addicting, at least for me. Anyway, the arena, what you do is you forge a deck from random cards. They give you like three cards at a time. You pick which one you want to put in your deck, and they do that 30 times to fill up your whole deck. And then you see how long you last in the arena. Once you lose three matches, you're out. And then you get some kind of prize based on how many wins you get. If you get nine wins, that's the maximum. And uh, the only problem is a cost to enter. I'm not going to pay two bucks to enter. I'm just going to earn some gold. I have 160 gold, so I'm able to buy into this. Uh, you earn gold by winning matches. Um, just online play matches. And ooh, this is going to be interesting. And you can use that gold to buy packs for like 100 gold or use 150 to enter into arena. The arena prizes sometimes include packs, so I don't know. It might be worth it. I only played the arena one time, and I lost the first two matches really badly. And then I won two, and then I lost the fifth one. So I got like a decent prize, nothing that great though. Um, so they give you three choices for a hero. Uh, mage, which you kind of start out as a mage when you start playing this game. Uh, it's very good for a beginner uh, beginner class, it does a lot of spells, a lot of damages, and stuff like that. Uh, Hunter is really good for minions. I have both of these decks already set up. They're not that great because I don't have that much experience, so... Yeah, whatever. Uh, Thrall, I've only played a Shaman a couple times. They're not too bad, but I haven't learned a lot about them yet. So I'm going to play the safe, the Hunter, Rexar. Right. <laughs> um... And each character has a hero power, something they could do each turn for two mana. I'll explain the whole mana basis when we get into the game, but uh, the hunters is they do two damage to the hero, so we'll talk about that when we get into the game. Right now we got to do our little draft, so we got to pick one of each of these three cards, or one of each, one of these cards, <laughs> and they do this 30 times you fill up your deck, and um, then we can get started. So I'm going to, might do some quick jump cuts because this process takes a while. It's just to show you guys what cards I put in here and maybe the reason why, I don't know. So, here we go with some uh, card drafting here. So, the first one we got, Rum Wrangler, favorite beast, summon a random beast. 
that's uh that's pretty good. I'm gonna build a beast deck, so I'm gonna have a lot of uh a lot of beast minions out there. This is actually pretty good. This is one attack for each other beast that I have. I'm gonna take this one. And he puts us into the deck here, and then we're ready for our second card. Um I like this card a lot. This is my deck that I made before. It kind of it's a cheap beast to put out and it buffs up your other beast a little bit. And we're gonna go with that one. Uh, we're going to target a lot of the beast uh, things in here. The top left is your mana, the 9 up here in the blue blue crystal gem here. Uh, in the middle of the battle cry, deal 4 damage. That happens when the minion is played. The bottom left corner of the card, uh, 9, that's your attack. And the bottom right is 7, that is your health. Just so you guys understand that a little bit more. Uh, so let's see. The charge, by the way, this will allow you to play that or to attack with him once you play him because every time you put a card out it has summoning sickness so you can't use it until the next next uh, next turn unless they have charge or some other buff yeah let's go with that all right we got a beast here and i'm gonna go with that the beast with taunt three three it's a pretty good card to get now these are pretty good options here dire wolf alpha which will give your the, the minions next to it plus one attack, which is really nice because it's a beast also. We're trying to build a lot of beasts here. Uh, the tracking is also good for a cheap card that allows you to get uh, three cards out of your deck and pick one out that could be useful. But I'm going to go with the beast here, try to build this up a little bit. I think we might see the other one again. And I'm going to go with this web spinner. Uh, it says death rattle. That means when he gets killed, it's going to add a random beast card to my hand, so that's pretty nice. For one mana, that's a good card to get. I'm going to go with this uh, Haunted Creeper. When he dies, he's going to uh, summon two 1-1 one -one spiders, which is kind of nice. We're trying to get as many beasts as we can get out onto the, the, the battleground here. So I think we're going to go with the Novice Engineer. Um, we thought we could draw a card, so I want to get some cards out there. Eh, maybe. I don't know if that was a good decision or not. Again, if anybody knows, like, hey, why'd you do this? You should have done it this way. Like, feel free to put in the comments uh, a better strategy or something I made a mistake on. Like I said, I'm very new to this game, so I'm going to make some mistakes. So I'm always welcome to, you know, criticism, positive, destructive, whatever. <laughs> so no beasts here. It's the same guy we saw earlier. Same guy we saw earlier. Uh, this is pretty nice. I've heard good things about this card. Whenever he takes damage, we get to draw a card, and he has three health, so... Um, we could use it to our advantage, so we're going to take that. The good thing about that card is if you get like a 1-1 one, one on the other side, you could just attack him and kill it, and you take damage and you draw a card at the same time. So it's a really nice uh, trade-off there. Uh, I don't want spell damage. Um, this is a really nice card. This is for Murlocs, we don't really want that. So whenever we play a card with Battle Cry, we gain plus one, plus one. That's pretty nice. Take that. Uh, Haunted Creeper will take that again. Try to get all the beasts out there. It's another web spinner to add a random beast card to my hand if he dies, which is nice. There's also a Stealth 5-5 five five Tiger. This is a pretty nice card. When he gets stealth, that means when he comes out, he can't be targeted by anything until um, basically I unstealth him by attacking. So it's kind of nice to have him out there so I could just deal five damage somewhere whenever I need it. So we might take him. No, let's take the web spinner. It might be a bad decision, we'll see how it works out for us. Um, there is one beast, a pretty big beast here too. Uh, Lowly Squire, gain plus one attack, it's not that great. I like this uh, Silverhand Knight, but it's just going to summon a 2-2 two -two Squire, and it's a nice card to have, but I think we're going to need a... If they were beasts, it would be great. So we're going to take the middle one, I guess. I never use that card. We'll see how it goes. Um, definitely going to take the Animal Companion, because that summons pretty nice beasts sometime. Uh, what else we got? Bloodfin Raptor is a cheap beast to play with good attack. That might be where we're going to go. Yeah. Take that. This is a nice card. I want another Timberwolf, but this is a nice card because it gives a random friendly minion plus one attack. Plus we get a weapon for our hunter, and we can attack with him. So let's take that one. 
Now this might be good because when we return something to our hand, if it has battle cry, we could play it again and get that battle cry somewhere else. And with this deck, I'm going to be having a lot more minions, most likely, than the enemy, so I'm going to take this. Um, I do like Hunter's Mark a lot, change the minions out to one. If we're against a really strong enemy, we could change it to one and kill him. Silence of Minions is a really good card to have, too, because whatever... Silence just takes away the little text in the card here, so when it says Battle Cry, Silence of Minion, if someone silenced this guy, he wouldn't have that Battle Cry anymore. Which is good for, like, um... It's good for a lot of situations. Uh, I might take Tuntress Mark though. That's gonna be pretty beneficial. Easy way to kill someone, kill one of their enemies. This might be good whenever a minion dies, gain plus one attack, because we're gonna have a lot of enemies and there are not a lot of minions that will be killed. I need, I do need a multi shot though. I'm gonna take this the shot because that's gonna be helpful to kill a couple enemies. I think we're going to go with the Mind Control tech, though. Just in the rare chance he has four more minions, we can take control of one of them. I don't know. That might be, not be a great one, but we'll see what, how it goes. Uh, this is pretty nice as Charge and Divine Shield. And But I think we're going to go with this 1-1 uh, Charge Stone Tusk 4. It's an easy card to play right away. Get a quick uh, attack out there. I want to take this 2-2 two -two with Taunt. Yeah, let's just take that. This other card doesn't look that great. I do like the taunt. This might keep uh, people off of me. Now let's go ahead and take the wolf rider. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get an easy attack out there. I wish it was a beast. That'd be nice. Uh, freeze the character is a nice card to have, but doesn't really go with our our deck that well. Uh, this is pretty nice. Give a friendly minion plus one plus one. I think we're going to go with that. Probably going to have to go with the Iron Fur Grizzly. It's a 3-3 three, three taunt, so we'll take that. So this is a little tougher. This is, the Flame Juggler is kind of nice. You deal one damage to a random enemy. That's only the first one you put him out, though. I think we might take this. As long as we keep this person alive, then our hero attack only costs one mana. That'd be nice to have. If we can keep it alive. Uh, Wind Fury on this guy means he can attack twice per turn. But the 1-1's one, not going to do that much damage, really. We could buff him up, but... I don't know, I'd rather have the Taunt. The 3-3 three, three is a beast. I think we're going to end up picking the beast, I guess. This might be the worst card of the 3, but I'm trying to keep our beasts around here. There's a the Flame Juggler again. Let's take this beast. I think we're going to go with the Stampeding Kodo. It's going to destroy an enemy minion, or a random enemy minion with two attack or less. <clears throat> and we are ready. We got our 30 cards here. And we have zero wins. The more you win, you fill up your key. And the more the key is filled up, the better your prizes are. <laughs> Once you get three losses, you're out. Um, so at the bottom, you can see our mana curve, which will show us how many of each like mana card we have so we have a lot of two and threes out here so I don't know how this will go but let's uh let's jump right into it shall we so before every match they're gonna do a wheel here as it loads it's just something to watch while it uh finds an opponent for you <laughs> so it's gonna come up with a worthy opponent and we'll be jumping into our match Rexa versus Rexa. And we are against another hunter. <clears throat> I will hunt you down. Okay, so this is our mulligan turn. We get to pick which cards we're going to keep and which cards we're going to discard. Or not discard, but put it back in our deck. Um, these are all pretty nice cards to have. We got two taunts and this guy. I'd rather have a one cost. Let me get rid of that guy. Might be a bad decision, but no. <laughs> all we have is three mana cost. Okay. So that means our first turn we can't really play anything. And we got a 7 cost. So, we have nothing to do here. Just to show you guys around, the bottom right here where it says 1 out of 1, that's our mana crystals. That's how many mana... You get 1 extra mana per turn. So right now we only have 1, so we can only play a 1 mana cost creature. This is our hero power. We can deal 2 damage to the enemy. And... That's about it. So we have nothing to do, so we'll end our turn. 
So he's playing the coin. If you don't start, you get the coin card, which it gives you an extra mana for one turn. So he uses to play this 2-4 creature, which says he can't attack, and then he can attack when he's inspired. I don't really know what the inspire thing means, so maybe you guys can tell me what that is. I have no idea. Uh, we can't use this because we don't really have any minions out there. And we could, but it doesn't really help us. We can combine that with something else. So let's just use our hero power, deal two damage to him, and we'll see what happens here. I want to see how he inspires this guy. Or if he can. Okay, so he hit me, and that allowed him to attack, I guess? I don't know. Uh, let's see. We'll get charge. Okay, that's what we could do. We'll play the charge. And hit him right away. Then we'll play this guy. We we'll turn this back to our hand and we could use it again. In a future turn. <laughs> I guess that might be a good idea, I don't know. So right now, you can see his card is a 2 attack and a 4 health. Mine has a 3 attack and 2 health. So if he attacked me, he would do 2 damage to me, I would die. I would do 3 damage to him and he would stay alive. He'd only go down to 1 health. If that makes any sense. So he summoned a golem, which will, when he dies, it's going to summon another 2-1 uh, guy for him here. So, we can kill him, but we'll die. <laughs> would be a good idea. Probably gonna use the web spinner and put out... I wonder. I'm gonna use this, uh... This guy here. Some random beast companion. And gave us a 4-2 with a, a t with a charge. So we'll take another charge out there. And we should be able to do all this damage directly to him. Three there, four there, and one there. And now we're up a little bit. You can see his character has 19 health left. We have 26 health at the bottom there. So whenever you run out of health, your character, then you lose. So he's going to kill my guy, sacrifice his guy, but then get another um, damage golem out here. So he's got the same... Uh, one of the cards that I had earlier. Well, in my deck. So he gave this guy plus one attack, which is kind of a waste because he can't use it. He really should have gave this guy plus one attack and did something different, but... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Okay, so we can destroy this guy, but it's not really gonna help us. And we destroy that guy easily. We might do that. See if we should sacrifice. I'm gonna put another beast card in my hand. Let's get that guy out there. Oh, when he dies, of course. Um, then we could put this taunt out there so he can't target my guys. Which isn't that great, I guess. Let's throw him out there. We'll put our taunt out there. We'll kill this guy. Because I don't want to take that damage next turn. And we're good. You see the little Zs coming out of the characters? That means they can't attack. They have summoning sickness, basically. is At least what it was called when I knew about it. So he still has a, a two attack from his uh, weapon. So he can definitely kill any of these guys if he wanted to. That's a nice card if I... I wish I had that. So he's saving that attack to uh, hit one of my guys sometime. So we could play both of these. I think we will too. Uh, this will summon a oh, beast card in my hand. Okay, so let's kill this guy. Right? Yeah. I'll kill him so he can't attack me. That's a pretty nice card. Summon two hyenas when he dies. I think we'll play that one instead. Yeah, let's just play that. Then we'll do three damage to him. And we'll end our turn there. So we're doing okay so far. I'm waiting for him to throw out a really good card. It's going to hurt me a lot. Which might happen here. If not, then I'm already trying to plan out what I'm doing next turn. 
which I'm probably gonna end up. The gates are open. Okay. So he's gonna kill him. It's fine. So he has a taunt out there, so I can't target him anymore. I have to target the his character there. So we can play that card. It's a strong beast. Um, if we kill this guy, it's gonna give us two little hyenas, which would be nice. And then, I wonder what else we could put out. All right. So let's kill this guy. We'll get two hyenas here for our next turn. Then we have seven more. We can put out this big guy. Or... We could do two of these. No, I can't use this one. It's not going to do us any good. Do five. Okay, let's do this. Do the taunt. This guy. And we'll attack him directly with two. And we'll end our turn. <clears throat> it's important to get uh, board control too with your with your minions. So we got four, and he has none, which is pretty nice. Uh, he could definitely kill any of these three guys. He can't kill that guy with his weapon. He only does two damage. Squire, attend me. So he took a card that I did not want to take because it wasn't a beast, but it's a nice card. So we gotta kill this guy. He's gonna hurt. <laughs> okay, this allows us to draw a card. We can put that big guy down. Uh, I think. Do five and three. All right, let's uh. I let's see if we destroy this guy at random. No, I missed him. Okay. Worth a shot. Alright, we'll kill this guy for sure. And then we can buff up this guy. Let's buff him up and then we'll do some damage to him directly. And this will put him pretty low on health. <clears throat> he's only got 5 health, so he's going to die next unless he puts out something that will save him. So he's got to get health, he's got to put a taunt out, he's got to kill some of these creatures. He has to do something or else he's going to lose. And he conceded, so he has nothing he could do, so we won. Hooray! <laughs> Alright, so pretty good for our first uh, game here. Um, I think we have time for one more, so let's uh, go to the next one. As you can see, our key filled up a little bit somewhere. I don't know where. We have one win, no losses still. Let's keep going. Okay, so we're facing Anduin Rin, the son of the King Varian, who is a priest. And priests are a little tough because they're going to heal themselves and they last a long time. So we got to focus on getting a lot of damage early. So this is not going to help us at all. Uh, this could help us, but we don't. We need some really cheap cards. This is nice. <clears throat> What do we get? Something for one. And eh, it's close. This is nice, our, our middle card, Direwolf Alpha. It's a good buff for our other creatures. The Novice Engineer is going to be good because we can draw an extra card. we got to get as many beasts as we can out there right away. That's really good. That'll help us so we can at least play something the first turn. And then you can also do stuff in the ma in the map here, like add boulders and launch it. <laughs> Just ridiculous things. Eh, close this. There we go. Can move this thing around in the corner. Could light that fire. <laughs> you get this little goofy things you could do here and there around the map. Just to keep you entertained while you're sitting here waiting for the other person to play. Uh, the priest, by the way, pure ability is they restore two health. They can restore it directly to their character, which gives them prolonged life, or to one of their minions. Uh, priest decks usually involve um, giving a buff, like if you heal somebody. Well, that's not good. He's going to have one of my beasts now. So he took one of my beasts from my, from my hand. And he put a taunt out there, which is fine. Um... Let's see, should we draw a card? 
Yeah, I think next time we're gonna... Okay, this is gonna work. Let's do this. Draw a card. And we get a taunt, which is really nice. Then, let's, um... It's not gonna cost us anything, so let's just attack this guy directly. He can't hurt us, he has no attack, so we'll just hammer him down slowly. Which is a good card for him, because it keeps the damage away from his hero, so he survives longer. On the other hand, he can't use his healing ability because he doesn't take any damage. So this is the card he took from me. So he gave this guy an attack. <laughs> Which is fine, I didn't really care about that guy being alive. Uh, so let's see, what are we going to do? We are going to buff up this guy. So he has two attack, he can kill that. And we're going to buff up this guy too. And we're going to kill that. And we're going to take this guy out too. That way now we have board control. We got our 2-2 out here that can buff our adjacent minions. And hopefully we can put some down. <laughs> he says, well played, you can say. So this is Acolyte of Pain. We have that in our deck too. Whenever he takes damage, he's going to draw a card. So he's going to keep damage going to this guy so he can keep drawing cards, probably. Uh, so if we put a taunt out, I'll stop him from doing anything about that. Uh, this is also a nice card to have out there. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put the taunt out here. Right? Yeah. Let's do that. Then we'll hit him directly. Then he's going to have to... Job's done. I mean, he can't attack this guy because he'll die uh, which he'll take he'll get a card out of it but it's not gonna really help him very much he wants to find a 1-1 one, one to attack actually you could attack this guy and be fine he'll survive the attack you could draw a card and then heal him and yeah that'll work so he just buffed up his attack so he can kill Okay, that's pretty good. So he uh, took attack away from this guy so he can kill him and damage this guy so he could heal him. But she didn't have enough to heal, so he couldn't really finish that. So we still have our buff out here, which is nice. <laughs> I gotta do one damage to that guy for sure. So here's what we're gonna do. I wonder. I'm going to put the taunt out there. Then I'm also going to play this. And this will hurt me. Well, no, it's two attacks, so... Ah, oh, that really sucks. He's going to heal this guy and draw... Or, and, uh... Yeah, and... Hmm. So I didn't play that that well. I can still do four damage directly to him. Or, yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I want to keep this wolf out here. Uh, he's going to kill him next turn, probably. With one of these guys. I would assume... No, he can't. He has to kill this guy first. Which he could. He can kill both of these guys this turn. And still have one alive. So he killed my taunt. He can kill this guy. No, he can't. He has to buff him up. He could buff him up first and then attack him. And kill him. Okay, I, th I thought so. So you healed him, so you get attack, so he stays alive, and he draws a card. That's a good good play. Alright, we gotta kill some of these guys now. Uh, your card costs one. That's a pretty nice card to have, and you can kill it. It's not going to help us here, though. <sighs> it's a nice card to play, but... I'm going to put this guy out here. Um, and then I guess I'll just directly attack him. Do some damage to him, at least. And... Yeah. I could save that weapon to kill something with, but I don't want to take a lot of damage from that. 
Because if I attack one of his minions... So he's dead. Which is fine. At least he got that guy out of there. Which helps him a lot because he just got 5 attack for this guy. Which hurts a lot. This guy's going to have Wind Fury, so he's going to attack twice. This is a very good card to come out right now. Uh, we can't play anything with it, so... Let's kill this guy with 3 damage. This guy will be almost dead. So he's going to do 2 attack next turn. And I can't really stop him. So... Uh, he's going to hit me for 8 attack this turn, so it's going to hurt a lot. <laughs> Nothing we could do, I don't think, about it. Because he's got Wind Fury, so he can attack twice. So it'll be four and eight. And it's going to hurt. But we'll survive it. Unless he buffs up a bit of attack on it, too. Uh, that's a good one. Well played. So he gave him health, too, which... Just to keep him alive, I guess. <laughs> that hurts. That doesn't do anything for us. Oh, man. That's really rough. I think we're going to lose this one. I guess I'll put him out there. And... I don't know. Not a whole lot we could do. Well, he's got taunt, at least. That'll stop uh, one of his attacks. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Alright, he might kill us this turn, and uh, we might survive one turn, but we'll be dead soon. I can't get rid of that, that creature out there. Because he'd have to sacrifice one of them, unless he buffs up their health a little bit. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> wow. So that was painful. So he stays alive. Um, he's gonna kill that was kind of a waste. He probably could have killed me. We would have been close to killing me that turn if you wanted to. So we really have nothing to do here. We can just play all of our cards and. It doesn't do anything for us, and he's going to kill us here, so... I'll let him finish me off. This is a bad, uh, bad game. He had a... Well played. Hit this game pretty well, taking control. Well, if he doesn't attack me soon, I'm just going to concede, because it's taking a while. Alright, forget this. I'm conceding. Well he's going to sit there and wait. <laughs> Alright, good game, Josie. Ah, uh, we lost. Okay, that'll happen. So now we have one win and one loss. But that's going to do it for our first video. Hopefully the next time we are back, we do a little bit better and can increase our prize chances. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.